All right, Mom. Here's what's going on. This is roughly the beginning of the trench, if you will, of the ravine. But the corner of our property is right up on the other side of those trees. And this is all mossy rock in here. And over the years, it's collected a lot of debris and sticks and stuff like that. But right here, we have really the beginning of where the erosion, because the rock ends like right here, you know, right there. That's This is like the end of the rock. So the erosion really begins right here. So what we're going to do is right at the very beginning, we're creating a little, um, a little dam. And what we're going to do here is just slow down the water. And what will happen is sediment will eventually start to rise and it'll fill this in. And then the water that does pass through, let me get down in here, will travel down. And we'll continue to build these. I've, I'm just going where there's an availability of rock right now. So we've got this one here that I had just a really big rock. I put that there and some other little ones. So that'll slow this down again a little bit. All we want to do is slow it down, prevent erosion. And then eventually, once I get this all mapped out, we'll start developing and building our swales which will retain this water. So here's another little one. And you can see the, how bad this erosion is. It, it just, this water is so destructive and it causes them much disruption, that's for sure. So there's another one here. Step over this. Got another one here. And this is a unique spot because over here, there's a branch off of that one that comes around down here, around this corner, and then down over here. So this is going to be, well, we'll see what happens here. I, I really don't know. I've never seen the rain uh, come through here. I've been here when it's raining, but never when, when water's running through. But this is a really cool opportunity here to, to again, we're going high up on the bank. I'll continue to lad that. We've got this over here. And then what I did is I created just a little one right here because that water comes barreling around that corner. So it'll hit this, it'll hit these rocks here, dissipate, and I built this wall. So it can either go up and around, I don't know. I've never seen the patterns. And then we raked some small rock to fill so the water doesn't gush and rush through so quick. Now this is this is what's really cool. This offers just some real amazing landscape opportunity. Because you got like these little rock formations. Kind of reminds you of slide rock. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna create sides and we'll retain those and we'll put rock in there and then we'll just start planting flowers this weekend. Not this weekend. Today while I'm here, I'm going to be planting some hollyhock seeds from our Scottsdale Urban Farm. I brought up like five or six branches and they all have seeds on them. And then this just continues down. And then there's another wash right here. And that goes all the way up to where I'm camping, where the van is. The van is just on the other side of that uh, group of trees over there. So that's that's what took place last night late. And uh, three hours this morning. And uh, good morning to you. Love you, Mom. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, real quick. And then we added that little border there, too. So on the, on the back side of that rock over here, I'm gonna plant hollyhock seeds. And then in the areas where the water will hopefully dam up, if the water comes down and, and you have resistance here and that water comes up a little bit, I'm gonna plant some hollyhock seeds along there. So hopefully they get a little bit of, a little bit of moisture. And then if they get washed away, we'll see where they end up. Hopefully they'll seed. 
All right. Take care. Have a great day, Mom. Love you.